Hey there Taurus, welcome to weekly tarot reading. This one is for October 2nd to the 8th, so we're going to jump in and see what's on the cards. Before I do Taurus, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button for me, thinking about leaving me a comment and please do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. It's what keeps them coming in a engagement based algorithm. It also helps me connect with your energy, get to know you and build this community. So I'd be super grateful for that. Uh, also, if you'd like a personal reading at any time, first link down below I will take you to my website you can check those out I have a freebie a free learn tarot quick guide if you'd like to get started with reading the cards for yourself that is linked down there uh, as well as my paid offering that is an immersive online tarot course called the initiation and in that one I teach a full foundation in tarot as well as my professional signature reading process so that is down there as well as a couple of other bits and pieces like my karmic community my free email newsletter and my Instagram, I am really active over there with daily content and I'd love to have you over there. Um, please do look for the blue ticked verified account. It's my only one and always will be. All right, Taurus, let's jump on in. And that card is flipping. I'm going to take it. And you know what it is? Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, Taurus, eclipse energy is change energy but it can be fast right and it's life-changing it's transformational so think about an eclipse it can take uh you know darkness to to light in a matter of minutes so conclusions are within reach just because you have spent this amount of time working towards something here and you haven't seen results doesn't mean that it's not about to change, that it's not about to turn around, that it's not about to transform. All right, Major Arcana incoming Taurus. I've got just the 22 cards that are the big themes, the big life lessons, and for you, temperance, Sagittarian energy. Now, temperance for me talks about a bit of a divine sweet spot where things line up, where the ingredients meld together and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, we, we've got a cake, right? You've just added all the right ingredients and then all of a sudden it becomes something. So I feel that there might be a last ingredient or a last shift here. It could be, um, you know, some funding that comes in. It could be the timing that shifts. It could be somebody that comes in to help you. It could be the right opportunity presenting at the right time. Um, some kind of shift that's really going to change things. This is also an energy of divine protection, divine guidance. So if you're getting signs, trust that. And, you know, it's about things coming into balance, a real healing, a real sort of alchemy energy. All right, well, let's get your cards out. Working with a full tarot deck now, Taurus, and I'm going to get four cards for your situation. Situational energy, eight of wands. Eight. That is change as well. It's fast, it's furious, it comes out of nowhere, and it can change your direction entirely yeah, two of pentacles that's your challenge Taurus because you're gonna have some decisions to make or you're gonna be weighing something up let's get your advice ten of wands 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 there's a lot of energy flying here outcome Queen of Wands, <laughs> Aries energy coming through. So a lot of Wands energy, and that feels like you, you you put a lot of energy into what you're trying to achieve here. And I feel that a real push phase or a hard work phase is coming to some kind of end here. Let's clarify as we go, Taurus. And yeah, another Wands card. Yeah, why not? Why not just add a few more Wands here? Three of Wands and Eight of Wands are your situational energies. So I have major shift energy coming in. Now, um, maybe you've applied for something and you're waiting to hear back. A job, a home, a, a, you know, relocation, immigration, uh, something like that. Conclusions are within reach, right? Things are coming into balance. Temperance says the timing is almost right. Now, this is going to allow you to turn your back on something, maybe back on the past, to finally move forward. You're at an important threshold and you're waiting for that green light so that you can leap on in. You're going to get it. 
the eight of wands it's a whole new direction a whole new point of change for your life and you know maybe there's something unexpected about this or maybe you didn't think it would happen but conclusions are within reach so this is a, the weeks around this reading is when it shifts but by december right it's only two months time i see you having made that transition that's the sagittarian energy okay so eight of wands powerful profound shift a new direction i think you're going to receive some kind of message or news that makes this real for you but then the challenge is two of pentacles you're going to have a decision to make and you might also have to navigate a period where you don't really have a stable base or you're in the the limbo of this energy here and that can bring up other challenges of course comes in with the three of cups though if you make this decision i feel take the leap of faith you're going to be celebrating you're going to be celebrating new growth you're going to be entering into a joyful uh, period of your life and we have gorgeous energy you know conclusions within reach but we have to go through a period of instability or a tough decision why is it a tough decision well the ten of wands in your advice coming up is usually a completion energy where we might need to let something go or end a phase in our life or leave behind a home or a place or a job and you know that's that's often bittersweet right it's cha any change brings up nostalgia doesn't it or emotions high emotions here so you might be feeling a bit unsteady uh, very soon but that's just all part of the, of the process and it's all part of the growth curve so ten of wands in your advice with the six of swords although it feels you know a bit heavy this transition is bringing you to balance to inner peace and to a whole lot more opportunity now again i'm saying that maybe you've worked very hard towards this maybe it's been a long arduous process and you didn't know if you were going to be successful or you hadn't seen any growth you hadn't seen any results but here it goes so this is a general reading obviously you know guys and it could be playing out quite differently for some of you but you know it could be for some of your business journey where you've invested a lot of energy maybe even money you haven't won your first client or you know broken even and then all of a sudden it changes and that the right conditions come up and and it does uh, for others of you, it could be that you've really wanted to relocate, immigrate, but you've had to tee up work and conditions and housing, and then all of a sudden it slots into place. That, that's the kind of energy that I'm talking about, big shifts, and it's leading to a process that changes multiple life areas, I feel. It's bigger than just one thing. I do see in the Six of Swords, two lots of Three of Swords, though, and... This can mean there's there's might have been a couple of disappointments before this. Maybe this is a third time lucky energy for some of you. Or we have two you know elements here to, to leave behind. Home and family, you know, colleagues in a place. It'll be different for all of you. And we've got a an energy here, whoops, of going into the, the, the fog, going into the unknown and really with leaving belongings behind so it's almost like you can't take with you your former self or maybe all of your possessions or it's a clear slate but that's a good thing because you get to kind of start again you get to lift the weight off your shoulders you get to let go doesn't that feel good i'm getting goosebumps because it feels good to me this kind of feeling of i get to recreate in this new energy so a hard work, a long, arduous process is coming to an end. And you here are, Taurus, embracing the energy of the Queen of Wands through having the vision, the discernment. You're saying yes to the Ace of Wands, a new beginning that is full of potential. But you might have to have a take a bit of a faith leap based on your instincts to and ride the limbo period of the two of pentacles where it's like oh, have i made the right decision what have i done my goodness and i've closed that door and the other one hasn't quite opened yet but sometimes that's the way it goes you know it's that that's the essential life lessons that we're being taught here 
I've got the five of wands and it's in reverse and temperance again at the bottom of the deck. So I feel that you're, you know, and of course, yeah, another wands card, right? Uh, you know, energy I feel is going to be going in a lot of different places and you're going to need to manage that. You might also need to manage five of wands, the energy of, you know, feeling uh, like there might be multiple opinions around you. Um, that, you know, you might be, have a little bit of burnout here because it's been such a long process. You might feel conflicted about your decision. And I say, come back to why you, you, you entered into this process because you had a vision, you had a dream, and you had something to manifest. And these are the, the weeks around this reading is when temperance, the sweet spot is here. And finally, you get the message you get the result, you things come into balance to bring this within reach. And I feel that there's a bit more to play out here, but by December, Taurus, you, you've made this change. You are, you know, through the other side. And I just feel really, really excited when I look at this reading for you. So I'm wishing you the very best with it. Whatever it is for you, major change, gorgeous energy. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, follow the first link down below to my website. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe on your way out, Taurus. Be forever grateful for that. And I'm just going to wish you so much love and magic. Embrace the change. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.